you're talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat, this video was sponsored by my boy Fast Classic, his mixtape is in the description box, it is absolutely free, definitely give him a download, give him a listen, and this video was sponsored by my boy Matt, check his apparel out on IG at we all from, now, Chavante Tank Davis is coming off of a destruction of Hugo Ruiz on Saturday in California. Had the legendary uh, intro into the ring. Had the whole Michael Jackson theme thing going on. It was a uh, it was a beautiful thing to see. You know something different, except for a rapper coming into the ring with the boxer. But I thought Tank Davis went in there and just did what he was supposed to do just destroyed a, a naturally smaller guy and didn't give him a reason to even hope that he was gonna win the fight now Javante Davis the day before had trouble making weight I know he said in interviews after the weigh-in that he made weight with no problem but when you got to take the additional the additional time to get some ounces off then obviously, you know, you didn't make it easily because you didn't come in under the 130 pound limit. Now, this is not the first time that Tank Davis has had issues at weigh-ins. And the question for today is, is Tank Davis just outgrowing 130? Or this is just a lack of discipline? Because this is about the third time he's had issues in terms of weight or just issues at the weigh-in where he had to go away and get back on the scale and and uh, lose some, you know, a pound or some ounces or whatever the case may be. Now, people criticize Tank Davis for hanging out with Adrian Broner. And Tank Davis openly said that he was almost 180 pounds before camp started. And I did a video on it. Because Tank Davis is so young, he can basically get away with losing a whole lot of weight and then still looking explosive on fight night. But that's not a good thing for any boxer to do going forward. I mean, hell, look at Broner. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Broner was living the quote-unquote fighter lifestyle and was disciplined, Adrian Broner probably could still be fighting at 135 or 140. Like, he doesn't have to be fighting at 147. I think Broner's best weight probably is 140. You know, 135 is hard to judge because he was just bigger than everybody. He was just bullying everybody. So it was hard to say if it was talent or just a combination of talent and just outweighing guys by a lot. You know, so Javante Tank Davis doesn't want to fall into that trap. Now, despite Tank Davis having multiple weight issues in terms of weigh-ins prior to fights. I do think that he's probably outgrowing the weight class at 130. It's, it would be easy to say that he's just not disciplined. It would be easy to say he's not disciplined. But, you know, when fighters are not making weight comfortably, you have to look at that. You have to look at that. And Tank is not going to, you know... Uh, order discipline on Amazon and it's going to come in the mail between two to three days. Discipline is either you got it or you don't. And a lot of times these young guys don't have the discipline and the ones that don't have the discipline, they won't get the discipline until their body start breaking down and they have to show discipline to stay in the sport. Tank Davis might be one of those guys. You know, you take another young guy like Shakur Stevenson, he looks like he's completely locked in like he doesn't have that problem or Devin Haney it looks like he doesn't have that problem or Tiafimo Lopez from the outside looking in it looks like he doesn't have that problem but Tank Davis seems like he just 
works hard and trains during training camp and it's not a year round thing keeping his body at a certain weight or him just not getting sloppy um i think javante tank davis needs to go to 135 you know i i do think that 130 is just a weight class where he's probably looking at maybe one more fight maybe two and then it'll just be best for him to just move up he doesn't want to get too high in weight because he's short. He's extremely short. He's about 5'5". Five, five. They say he's 5'5". Five, five. He looks like he's about 5'3 on camera. But, you know, with him being that short, you know, he wants to stay at the 130s, the 135s, because it's not too many guys that's 5'10", 5'11", 6 feet at 130, 135. The guys are at, you know, 5'6", 5'7", 5'8". That's something the tank can handle, you know, you don't have too many Robert Easter Juniors, you know, walking around at 130, 135 is 6-1. You know, it's just rare. So hopefully for Tank Davis, he just fights at a weight to where he can make the weight comfortable, whether that's 130 or 135. If you say that Tank Davis is not outgrowing 130 and he's just being a fat fuck and he's not being disciplined, then I can understand that. I can understand that and I can respect that. But at the same time, you know, even with discipline, if this is a weight where it's going to take him a lot to make the weight, like a lot of the training camp is really like fat camp, then, you know, maybe he needs to move up to 135. And if he keeps on blowing these guys out at 130 with just so much power, he might be better off if he goes to 135 because he'll just get better competition at the end of the day. As far as I'm concerned, if he's not fighting Tevin Farmer next, he can go to 135. There's nothing else for him at 130. He can go to 135. I'm not trying to see him fighting no damn Javier Fortuna. Like, nobody's trying to see that shit. Like, it's either Tank Davis versus Tevin Farmer, or he should move up to 135. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.